we are looking at uh, chapter number 3 matrices of class 12th mathematics matrices are very important as far as mathematics are concerned there are certain ways in which you can uh, write things in running way or you can represent it in tabular form whether you want to solve the linear equations whether you want to employ it as a spreadsheet the spreadsheet programs you see in your personal computer you want some budgeting to be done sales projection cost estimation or analysis of result say of an experiment so all these operations can be easily represented by matrices so matrices you will find in all in all your mathematics wherever in physics also so matrices and especially today's burning branch which is the cryptology and i'm just saying that genetics economics sociology modern psychology and industrial management everywhere you will find this matrices so we'll talk about the matrix and matrix algebra in this chapter so matrix is the singular and matrices is the plural form of matrix what is a matrix let us uh, take a story now radha has 15 notebooks we can express it like this 15 with an understanding that this square bracket or the number inside this square bracket is the number of notebooks that radha has now we have to express that radha has got some you know pens also so 15 books and six pens so we have employed 15 for her books so let us change it and make it 15 books and six pens right now fozzy also comes and we have to enter her data also she says that i have uh, 10 notebooks and two pens simran said i have 13 books and five pens so why not to just extend this we'll extend this and we'll write like this this is for uh, radha this is for uh, fozia and this is for simran right this is nothing but a matrix you are writing in words radha has 15 notebooks and six pens so here radha has 15 books and six pens similarly simran has 13 notebooks and five pens now we can arrange it in some form we'll write uh, radha uh, just uh, make it as a table radha as the uh, say the row and the columns as notebooks and pens so this is the first row this is your first row this is your second row this is your third row this is your first column this is your second column so this is the column this is the second column this is the first second third row and this is nothing but the combination of rows and columns or the representation of certain problem in terms of rows and columns we have used a square bracket and we call it as a matrix we can take another way also we can place notebook and pens here means in the rows and radha fozia and simran the names in the column so here again we'll use a square bracket this is first row this is second row this is first column second column third column so here we have in the previous one it was three rows and two columns let us like it like this here we have two rows and three columns right similar information similar way but the representation is different but it is giving you an idea this rectangular form or this tabular form is giving you certain idea so the first arrangement and the second arrangement they are showing a form of a rectangular arrangement so that you may be able to understand the things very carefully and you know at first go if i write something in the text form as you saw it will not be so easy to understand so now these arrangement 
I term it as a matrix. So now let us define a matrix in mathematical terms. A matrix is an ordered rectangular array of either numbers, this can be any number, or functions. So it can be num functions also. As you see here, these are functions. So the number of numbers or the functions, they are known as the elements. These are all elements or the entries of the matrix. We tend to denote the matrices by capital letter. These are all matrices. This is 3 by 2 matrix, 3 by 3 matrix, this is 3 by 3 matrix, this is 2 by 3 matrix and all these are the elements or the content we have just written in the square brackets. Okay, So these are the rows and these are the columns. These are the columns, rows and columns. What is the order of a matrix? Order of a matrix, if a matrix has m rows, see m rows and n columns, these are n columns if you count it. So a matrix having m rows and n columns is called a matrix of order m into n or you can simply say m cross n which is read as m by n. Whenever you say or when you, whenever you speak to your teacher or your friend you will say this is a m by n matrix. So we can have a 3 by 2 matrix, 3 by 3 matrix, 2 by 3 matrix and it go on and on. But here is one more information. If a matrix is 3 by 2, you just have to multiply this to know the number. So the entries or the elements are 6. Let us take a general form. This is a m by n matrix. That means we have 1 to m rows and n. n is the column. So 1 to n column. This is 1 to n. This is 1 to n. This is represented in rectangular array. So we can write it as A, which is equal to A i j. i is from 1 to n, j is from 1 to n. i is from 1 to n, m, j is from 1 to n here. i m 1 to m, j 1 to n, and this i j belongs to natural number. So we'll not start with 0. We say 1, 2, 3 till n, 1, 2, 3 till m. And this is the representation. So whenever, whenever we are writing about matrix will write this only this is this will be very cumbersome for us we'll just represent it this so the ith row is consisting of a i see all these are i but 1 to m are, n are changing and the jth row jth column we have 1 to n m here but j is there and j is constant for all this so any a i j is ith row or j column jth column it will find in the intersection of the row and column and we'll also call it as i or j, i comma jth element of a. So the element, the number of elements will be nothing but m into n, m into n. So we follow the notation a equal to a i j m into n in the rest of the discussion. And we'll consider certain type of uh, matrices. So when we want to represent any point x, y in a plane, if this is your plane, you want to represent this with point with x, y. You can represent it like this, x, y, or like this, in row form or column form. Say, 0, 1, you can represent 0, 1, or 0, 1. Okay. So you can also represent it the point, say, this is a point, but you can represent a figure also. These are four points, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And how to represent them, A, B, C, D? If this is your, say, some figure, and these are coordinates being given. You can write like this. This is A, B, C, D. This is X, this is Y. Or you can write like this. This is A, B, C, D. Now this is two rows, four columns. So this is two by four matrix. Here we have four rows and two columns. So this is four by two matrix. Okay. Let us see some examples. We have this information, men and women working in tea factories. We want to represent this information in the form of 3 by 2 matrix. So here also we have, see, we can easily represent it like this only. We have 3 rows and 2 columns. So 3 by 2 is the matrix. So we can just, this is our matrix. And what does the entry of third row and second column? So this is your third row, first, second, third. This is third row. 
and this is second column. The intersection is 26. So this is how we represent it and the third is nothing but 26. This is 26. If a matrix has 8 elements, what are the possible orders it can have? Since m into n is 8, we have to find m and n. So 8 into 1 is 8, 1 into 8 is 8, 2 into 4 is 8, 4 into 2 is 8, like this. So these are all the possible combination. We will write it as 1 into 1 cross 8, 8 cross 1, 4 cross 2 and 2 cross 8. Construct the 3 by 2 matrix whose elements are given by this. So there will be 3 rows and 2 columns. I will tell you how to make this. First of all, this is A, I, J. So let us start with A11. What will be here? Half. In place of I, I am tracing 1. In place of J, I am tracing 1. This is half. 1 minus 3, that is minus 2 because there is modular sign. So this will be 2. Half into 2, that will be 1. So A11 will be 1. Again, you can take any other value. A32, I am taking. Okay, because this is 3. A 3 row, 2 columns. So 3, 2. We will place 3 here minus 3 into 2. What will be the value? Half 3 minus 6. So this will be minus 3. And mod is there. So 3 by 2. A 3, 2 is 3 by 2. So this is how we get the value. And uh, you have to just place i and j value a11, a22 because this is this is your 3 by 2 matrix. 3, 3 rows, 2 columns. So a11, a12, a21, a22, a31, a32. You just have to paste this ij here and find out the value and keep it here. So the final final matrix will be something like this. We just found out a32. Types of matrix. What are the different type of matrix? Column matrix. Column matrix means there are, there are only rows but there, will be, there is only one column. So if you have any matrix of m into 1 form, only one column, so this is a column matrix. See, 4 into 1 is an example. Row matrix. When you have 1 into n type of matrix, that is only one row, any column can be there. This is an example. This is 1 by 4. This, this is called as a row matrix. Square matrix. When, the, when you have m into n and m and n are equal, means the number of rows and number, column, number of columns are equal, we call it as a square matrix. For example, this matrix has 1, 2, 3 rows and 3 columns. So 3 into 3, m and n are equal. m and m, both are same. We represent this as a square matrix. So if a i j is a square matrix, say of order n, then a11, a22, a n, then only we can find the diagonal. A matrix has to be a, a square matrix to talk about diagonal. A rectangular matrix, which is not a square matrix, cannot have a diagonal. See, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So, we can have a diagonal. The diagonal elements are 1, 4, 6. Diagonal matrix now. What is a diagonal matrix? Diagonal matrix is that matrix whose diagonal elements are something, others are 0. So, if square matrix B is a diagonal matrix, all of its non-diagonal members should be 0. This is, there is no problem, it can be anything, but all the non-diagonal element has to be 0. And for i equal to j, that is a11, a22, this is a11, this is a22, this is a32, this, this has to be some value. Scalar matrix. Scalar matrix is what? When, it's, it's a kind of diagonal matrix only, but the diagonal value will have similar value means same value some scalar value so all the other values will be zero but the diagonal value will have some value so a scalar matrix is that matrix the diagonal elements are equal that is some scalar or some value and all other elements are zero so b i j is zero and when i j means i equal to j this has to be some k value identity matrix what is the identity matrix? It is represented by I, first of all. This identity matrix is that all the diagonal elements are 1, others are 0. And this has to be a square matrix because we are talking about diagonal, 
diagonal only arises when we are talking about a square matrix otherwise no so we can write it like this aij equal to 1 for i equal to j means a11 k i equal to j a22 a33 these are all one otherwise everything is zero we represent it using i n it is it is of n order because this is a square matrix so n by n okay so just observe that this scalar matrix if it is root 3 root 3 root 3 if you take root 3 outside this will be 1 1 1 so scalar matrix is an identity matrix with k equal to 1 but every identity matrix is clearly a scalar matrix also zero matrix all elements are zero these are also known as null matrix all elements are zero so these these three all are zero matrix we represent it by big o So this is the first part of our discussion on matrices. We'll be taking more. Till then, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.